Hi, my name is Chris Pearson. I'm a state representative from Burlington, and I'm the uh, leader of the Progressive Caucus here in the House. And today I'm going to be talking to you about one of the uh, things I'm most proud of, of, which is being the co-founder and co-chair of the Climate Caucus. Uh, representative Margaret Cheney, who's a Democrat from Norwich, and I last year brought together a group of lawmakers, mostly House members, although the Senate Senators have joined us um, here and there. So we were kind of thinking to ourselves, well, we got a lot of um, people in the House in particular where we serve who believe in, in climate change, believe in global warming, believe that it's a product of human activity, and um, we haven't done very much about it. We've done some great work on electric efficiency. We're starting to get uh, do more on thermal issues, on, on home heating and, and, and weatherization. We haven't really tackled this, and, and, and I, the way I see it is for a couple of reasons. It's an enormously overwhelming problem. It, it's sort of the more you learn about it, the more you're tempted to just stay in bed in the morning because it is, it's so overwhelming. And it touches a whole range, you know, just about every piece of our life. We have committee structure that is necessarily kind of silos us off. So there's an Ag Committee, there's a Commerce Committee, I serve on the Health Care Committee. We've done a lot of great work on electric efficiency and that has largely been driven by the Energy and Natural Resources Committees. Um, but in Vermont, while, while electric creation in the country, in the U.S., is a big source of carbon pollution, in Vermont it's a very small slice, in fact. And so um, a lot of us were saying, well, we've got to do more. And the other thing that was going on with these silos of committees is you know, the Energy and Natural Resources Committee was busy, but they weren't really talking to, say, Transportation Committee, which has an enormous impact, of course, on our climate, uh, climate carbon uh, output. And also our Agricultural Committee uh, and our Tax Committee, all of these things in commerce and on and on and on. Climate touches all of these. And so the Climate Caucus is an informal group. We meet every other week, and it's open to anybody. And we're trying to break down these walls that are created by our committee structure and say, how are we going to get a handle on this? And a lot of people ask me, you know, from time to time, well, you know, even if Vermont had an absolutely sustainable carbon output, if we had zero carbon footprint at the end of, of a year, let's say, if, if we could miraculously accomplish that, you know, you're not going to have a big impact on the nation's carbon output. And that's true because we're a tiny state. So part of my motivation, and I think the motivation for a lot of us, is to find solutions that work here in Vermont with the hope that they will be replicated around the country. God knows people are starved for leadership and looking for solutions. And so maybe Vermont, maybe we can help Vermont be the leader in offering solutions uh, because most of us are pretty discouraged waiting for Washington to act. So when we founded the caucus, it was... Uh, a little bit into last session, we were kind of beyond the, the deadline for filing bills. And we really started an education process where we brought in, every other week we brought experts in. There's a lot of expertise on these issues around the state of Vermont. And our charge was, we come, we please put solutions on the table. Tell us what to do. You know, we don't have a half a billion dollars for a great train system in Vermont yet. So what else, what else can we do? We're not just going to sit around and wait for that. And over the course of the session, about a third of the members of the House joined us for our discussion, and we learned a lot. This year, just last week, we met for the first time. We had a packed room. We had more members coming, elected members coming to join us than ever before. And what was really fun was the membership was eager to be pushing the legislative agenda. So a, creating a packet of bills that we could promote and say, we, the Climate Caucus, think this is some of the direction we should be going. And, and so in the coming weeks, I look forward to building that packet of legislative priorities. I think there will be a transportation um, component that's very exciting. I think we will look to, to reduce uh, the other big source of carbon in, in Vermont. It comes from home, heating homes and, and commercial um, heat and, and oil use. Uh, if, if we can start to grapple on that and create uh, some goals and a trajectory to how we're going to deal with that. I think we're going to be on the, on the right path, and it's a very exciting moment. We're eager for people to get involved. There's a Facebook page that's coming together. It's uh, facebook.com slash VT Climate Caucus. Find us on Twitter. It's just Climate Caucus. And uh, reach out to, your, to, to elected officials from all over the state and tell them you want this to be a priority because uh, the more the grassroots 
gives us some, some cover, the more people are going to come to the caucus and participate in, in these initiatives, which are, to my mind are very, very important. And, uh, I, think, I think that's shared by a lot of people watching this. So please get involved. Thanks a lot.